glory, glory, hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. To our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We say, good morning, Lord Jesus. Let us pray this morning. Our Father and our God, we thank you. For this wonderful morning, we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. You are the everlasting God. Yes, Lord. Everlasting Father. Your word declares to us in Psalm 48, verse 14, that for this God is our God forever and ever. It will be our guide even to the end. Hallelujah to your name. Everlasting God. You are our God forever and ever. You will be our guide even to the end. In you there is no beginning and there is no end. We will never be afraid that you will abandon us by leaving us unexpectedly. Neither will you cease to exist. We know you now and we will know you in eternity. And even more so. For then we will see you face to face. You are worthy of all praise and adoration. You are worthy of our highest honor and deepest respect. Everlasting God, you do not sit in time, but you are outside of time, inviting us to join you in the drama of the ages unending. Mm. How vast are your thoughts, stretching beyond what our any mind could comprehend. You know all things, and in you, life will never end. Everlasting God, we thank you for the magnificence of your essence. We thank you for inviting us to know you, for spending moments with yours and making them wonderful, special, filled with your presence. Thank you, Father. Everlasting God, you are not bound by time. So our hearts overflow with gratitude because you stood to be with us in time. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah be to your name, Father Lord. This morning, we worship you, we adore you. Thank you, Father. Lord, this morning we pray. We are asking you, everlasting God, that you know best what we need and where we need it. You saw the end before the beginning. You know the path we should take. We're asking you this day, Lord, for wisdom. For you are the great and wise everlasting God. We're asking you, Lord, for the ability to slow down and focus our thoughts on you in our daily life. Please yourself in our mind as we wake up this morning and every morning, Lord, that we will start our day right. Everlasting God, remind us of who you are so we don't waste any time you have given to us today. It's precious time. Help us to use our time to advance your kingdom for your glory and for the good of others, for the fulfillment of our destiny. Lord, this is our cry this morning. As we join the angels, the host of heaven, to say, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. You are holy. So, Father Lord, purify us, cleanse us from every sin, any iniquity, that will not make us to, to be a partaker of your goodness today, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord. We come under the blood of Jesus. We've come, Lord, not in our own righteousness, but in the righteousness that has been imputed upon us through our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the shed blood on the cross of Calvary, it has been accomplished. So, Father Lord, because we have been justified by the blood, we plead the blood of Jesus over us this morning. Over this prayer line, we plead the blood of Jesus. We are asking you, Lord, if there be any power that has been assigned over this prayer this morning, Oh, gracious Lord, I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ will nullify that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Be exalted, O oh Lord, this morning in our midst. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us sing to the Lord this morning. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God divine. is a holy God this morning. Let us thank him and praise him for what he has done, for what he is doing in our life, in our family. Let us thank him for terminating every satanic appointment and schedule that is against our progress in life, that is against our children, our family members. Let us thank him. That's God Almighty, Holy Father, everlasting God, I thank you for terminating every terminal problem that is working against my sources, against my children's sources and achievements in life. I thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. Holy Father, I thank you because of your holiness. You make it impossible for generational problems and causes to prosper in my life and my family. And for this, oh Lord, I thank you. Thank God this morning that, Lord, I thank you for making it impossible for generational problems and causes to prosper in my life and my family. I thank you, Father Lord, because you are holy God. Holy God. Oh 
almighty God, everlasting God, I thank you for this alliance, Satan, to share your glory in my life. You are holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. He will not give his glory to any man. This morning, Father, we thank you for this alliance, Satan, to share your glory in our life. We thank you, Father. Let us thank him this morning. That, my Lord, we just thank him for what he has done because we know he will continue to do it. It's everlasting God. He never he end. This morning, Father, we thank you for uprooting and destroying every root of poverty in my life and planting the tree of prosperity instead. Oh, gracious Father, I come before you this morning because the word say, come before the Lord. We with all your requests, we thanksgive. So, Father Lord, this morning, I thank you for uprooting and destroying every root of poverty in my life and planting the tree of prosperity instead. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, my Lord and my God. Oh, gracious Father, I thank you for making me me God over every Pharaoh of my life as you did for Joseph in the land of Egypt Lord I thank you I thank you mighty father for making me God that is the small God over every Pharaoh of my life as you did for Joseph in the land of Egypt father Lord I praise your name this morning I thank you for sending every enchantment and divination of the enemy back to them thank you mighty father Thank you, my Lord and my God. Oh, gracious Father, Holy Father, because you are holy, because of your holiness, you will not allow them, every arrow of the enemy to prosper. Every enchantment, you will not allow them to prosper. Every divination, you will not allow them to prosper. So, Lord, I thank you for sending every enchantment, every divination of the enemy back to them. I thank you. I thank you for breaking the of limitation and starvation upon my life. Lord, this morning, with a heart of gratitude, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, because you are holy God. You are everlasting God. And I thank you, Father, for breaking the curse of limitation and stagnation upon my life, upon my children's life, upon my marriage, upon my ministry, upon my career. Father, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, mighty Father. I thank you, Lord, for breaking the backbone of every household enemy that has vowed over his dead body against my prosperity and advancement in life. I thank you for breaking the backbone of every household enemy that has vowed over his dead body or a dead body against my prosperity I am oh, and my advancement in life, I thank you for breaking their backbone. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, my Lord and my God. I thank you for not allowing my vehicle of life to sink in the deep waters. Ah, glory, hallelujah. That you have breath this morning, thank the Lord. Oh, that you have breath. Every living soul, praise the Lord this morning. Thank him. That, Lord, I thank you for not allowing my vehicle of of life to sink in the deep waters. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah be to your name, O Lord God Almighty. We worship you. We adore you this morning. We adore you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be to your name. Thank you for what you have in store for us today, O Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us declare our declaration this morning. Today is week two and what we have this morning. <clears throat> Let us declare. Declare as you believe and with the word of your mouth we shall be justified this morning. Declare it affirmatively. God has equipped me. And made me a danger and a terror to all my enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat my flesh, they stumble and fell in the mighty name of Jesus. I pursue my enemies. I overtake and destroy them in the name of Jesus. The Lord has lifted me up 
and I am seated with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above principalities, power, and dominion. And the Lord has put all things under my feet, and I use my feet to bruise and destroy all my enemies, even Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, everywhere the soles of my feet shall tread upon, the Lord has given it unto me. The word of God is the power of God. And the entrance of the word of God into my life has brought the light of God into my life and darkness cannot comprehend it in the name of Jesus Christ. I sent for this light that is in me as a two-edged sword to destroy all the kingdoms of darkness in the name of Jesus. The word of God is quick and powerful in my mouth. God has put the power of his word in my mouth in the name of Jesus. I trust in the word of God. The word stands sure when I speak it. It will accomplish the purpose for which I have spoken it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray this morning that Lord my Father, establish me in every good work in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father establish me in every good work in the name of jesus christ father lord establish me in every good work in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let christ dwell in my heart by faith Heavenly Father, let Christ dwell in my heart by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Let Christ dwell in my heart by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to pray and ask the Lord that, Lord, let me be fruitful in every good work in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let me be fruitful in every good work in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let me be fruitful in every good work in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen let us pray that my father in the name of Jesus arise early to declare your glory father I rise early to declare your lordship I get under the covering and anointing of the holy riser and I come in agreement with the heaven to declare your glory, Lord, this morning. Over my life, over my children's life, Lord, let your glory manifest, O Lord, as the heavens declare the glory of God. Let my life declare the glory of God. Let my children declare the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning that, O Lord, be glorified in my life. Let my life glorify you, Lord. Let my children's life glorify you. Let my family glorify you lord be glorified let the lord jesus christ be glorified on this prayer platform let the lord be glorified in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let us pray that lord let my prayer meet you this morning let my prayer meet you this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let my prayers meet you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to pray again that let the word of the Lord Africa and be glorified with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the word of the Lord Africa and be glorified with me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My Father. Let the anointing to be more than a conqueror fall upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let the anointing to be more than a conqueror fall upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray this morning. Father Lord, let your will be done in my life as you have recorded it in the heaven. As Lord, let your will be done in my life today, as it is in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I know your will for me is to prosper, be in good death, O Lord, my Father. Let your will be done in my life today. Let your will be done in the life of my children today, Lord. As it is in heaven, Lord, let your will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. This morning, Father Lord, I bring my household before you. Let your 
your will be done in our life this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray that, O oh Lord our Father, you are our provider. Lead us, O oh Lord, into green pasture this morning, Father Lord. Lead us, O oh Lord, into green pasture in the name of Jesus Christ. Give us our daily bread, Lord. Some of us, we need the natural food. We need the grace, Lord. We need peace of mind. Lord, you know what we need this morning. And all these things are our bread, oh Father. Healing is our bread. This morning, Father, Lord, for anyone, oh Lord, that need healing this morning, gracious Father, I pray as we prepare the table, we come and die. Lord, let there be healing. Let there be restoration. Let there be refreshment, oh Lord, this morning, upon our body, upon our soul soul upon our spirit pray this morning ask for the refreshment of god this morning because you have come into the table this morning and in the lord say give us our daily bread what is your daily bread you need the client this morning that will provide that daily bread you pray that lord i need clients i need customer to enter to come to my place of business this morning i lord i need you lord i need wisdom i need whatever you need this morning ask the door is open. Ask. He said, we should ask. Give us our daily bread. And the next thing is forgive us. Forgive us our trespass. As we forgive them that trespass against us. There are going to be people that will trespass against us this day, Lord. Give us the grace to forgive. To forgive, not to have any grudges, oh Lord. Even those that have offended us yesterday that were escaping this grudges, that is keeping the malice, oh Father, Lord. This morning we release them. We forgive them. Those that have spoken against us unkindly, those that have spoken against us, that have treated us as if we're nothing, we Oh, we forgive them this morning, Father Lord. We forgive them, oh Lord God Almighty. Those that, that say things bad about us, we forgive them this morning. Even they may not be aware of it, but Lord, we know that we are offended for what they have done. Lord, we release them this morning. We forgive them, and Lord we are mighty. We ask that you forgive us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that, my Father, lead us not into temptation. There are many things. As you open the, the, go to the Facebook, as you go to the media, as you start looking, glisten this morning. Father, Lord, lead us not into temptation. Take charge of my eyes. Take charge of my ears. Take charge of my mouth, Lord God Almighty. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil, from the evil one. Pray that, Lord, deliver us from evil. Lord, this morning, deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. Father, Lord, this day we're asking you, deliver us from evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, as a priest, I want you. You can raise up your hand to make that declaration. That, Lord, your word say in Numbers 23, verse 23. That there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to his time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel what the Lord has done. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I deprogram whatever the enemy has programmed into the sun, into the moon, into the star concerning me, concerning my children, concerning every member of my household. I deprogram them in the name of Jesus. It will not happen. It will not occur. Anything that the enemy has altered into the atmosphere concerning me, in the name of Jesus, I nullify them. I nullify them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, let us do it once again. According to the word of the Lord, Numbers 23, 23 says, There is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. For according to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what the Lord has done. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I deprogram whatever the enemy has programmed, whatever be their timetable, whatever be their scheme, whatever 
whatever be the agenda that the enemy has put together against me, against my family. For this day, I notify them, I notify them in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power, in the blood of Jesus Christ, every word that has been uttered into the atmosphere concerning me, concerning my, my family. This morning, I notify them, I notify them. It will not happen, it will not occur in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. For the word of God say, there is no weapon for me against thee shall prosper, and every mouth that shall rise up against thee judgment, thou shalt condemn. For this is our heritance as a servant of God. This morning, with the program, we cancel, we condemn any power, any mouth that will rise up against us in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go to the word of God this morning. And this morning, I'm talking about the key to a worry-free life. The key to a worry-free life. What is that key? Let us look. First Peter, chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. First Peter, chapter 5, verse 6 and 7 says, Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. The key to a worry-free life. It began by humility. Humility. We often worry about our position and status, open to get proper recognition for what we do. But here Peter advises us to remember that God's recognition counts more than human praise. God is able and willing to bless us according to his timing. We learned this morning is everlasting God. Humbly obey God regardless of present circumstances and in his good time, either in this life or in the next, he will lift you up. Verse 7 says, cast all your anxiety to him. Carrying your worries, stresses, and daily struggles by yourself Show that you have not trusted God fully with your life. It takes humility, however, to recognize that God cares, to admit your need, and to let others in God's family help you. Sometimes we think that struggles caused by our own sin and foolishness are not of God's concern. But when we turn to God in repentance, it will bear the weight, even of those struggles. Letting God have your anxiety calls for action, not passivity. Don't submit to circumstances, but the Lord who controls circumstances. Do not submit to circumstances, but submit yourself to God. There are many believers today who don't cast their cares upon the Lord. I believe that it is because they don't have revelation that he cares for them. Again, look at what verse 7 said. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Unless you have absolute confidence in Jesus, that Jesus cares for you, you will not cast your care upon him. Just think about it. How will you call upon the help of someone, either your friend or your relatives, in time of need, if you are not confident that the person will respond to your call? Jesus cared for you when you call upon him. Know that he has his fullest attention when all of heaven's resources is backing you up. God is vitally and intensely involved in your day-to-day -day minute detail of life. 
Perhaps you are thinking right now, well, I am sure that Jesus has more important things to do than to bother with my problem. Mm -mm. Wait a minute. By saying that, you have just shown that you don't really believe that Jesus cared for you. In another passage, let us remind ourselves what the Bible says. In Luke 12, 7, it says, But the very ears of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore. You have more value than many sparrows. Parents, how many of you, we know we love our children. You care for them, you hug them, you kiss them, you do all kinds. How many of you have sat down and you start to count the hair or the head of that child that you love so much? I've not done so. But do you know that your heavenly father numbers the hairs on your head? I really hope that you are beginning to catch the heart of Jesus and not generalize it. His love for you. His love for you is all encompassing. If he cares enough to keep track of the years on your head, is there anything so small for him that you cannot talk to him about? Just imagine, brothers and sisters. God's love for you is infinitely detailed. In another passage in Matthew, Jesus said that not one sparrow falls to the ground apart from the Father's will. Are you not more of value than a sparrow? Is God a God who wins the clock and leaves it alone to tick until Jesus comes back? Is he only involved with major events in the world? Is he only involved in significant events in our lives like our salvation? Or is he vitally and intensely involved in the day-to-day -day minute details of your life? And I say it is. What do you think? The Bible says that he calls his own sheep by name. He knows your name. Brothers and sisters, this morning, his love for you is personal. His love for you is detailed and in-depth. In-depth. Let it resonate in our hearts. As you move around this morning, know that he loves you. Know that he cares for you. Your Heavenly Father wants you to involve him, even in the smallest most mundane matters of your life and see his unmerited favor surround you, protect you, and lead you to your good sources. Know that. Have that assurance in you this morning. That everything concerns you. That is why, to me, there's nothing I cannot talk with God. Nothing. If you look at me, in an unkind way, I'm coming home and to say, you see that brother or that sister, I don't know why you look at me like this. And God may say, maybe she has problem or maybe you know, something like that. We talk, you know, conversation. To be go to that point that you can converse with God. Don't be afraid, it's your father. Satan will want us to be afraid. It's to, don't bother God, don't tell God. Because you've said this, now God will not listen to you. No. Come back, confess it. If you have mis you know, spoken word against anyone or you have done something, confess it and come back to God and say, okay, God, this is the thing. I want us to, to have that heart that will just be restful, peaceful, that you know we have God, our everlasting Father, the God of the universe. is our God. Let us pray this morning because I can keep on talking, talking. Let us thank him for loving me in such a personal, detailed, and in-depth way. Even though you know it, 
I know some of us know, but I want us to thank him. Say, Father Lord, I thank you for loving me. It's such a personal detail and in that way. The number of my hairs are numbered. You know me by name. You know every step that I should take. Hey, Lord, I thank you. Right now, I cast every care and concern that I have in my heart for myself and for my family into your hands. I cast them. I cast them into your hand, Lord. I cast them. Whatever is that care, maybe about your son, about your daughter, that is what it takes. That's love. I cast this care about my daughter into your hand. If I'm worried about any of my child, I just say, Lord, I'm worried. You say you should not worry. But right now, I'm worried. So, I, because this is why I'm worried, I tell God about it. I ask you, Lord, that you take care of them for me and that you direct my path. Pray as you are casting the care of your family and the care into God's hand this morning. Pray that, Father, I ask you, take care of them for me and that you direct my path. Is it about your son that needs to get married? Your daughter that is looking for spouse? Lord, this morning, it's my concern. And you say, I shall cast my cares upon you. And I'm casting this care upon you about my job about my marriage, about my son, my daughter, or about my child, Lord, this morning, about my business, my ministry. Lord, I cast this care upon you. I ask you to take care of them for me and that you direct my path. I refuse to fret and worry about any of my problems anymore. Because they are in your hand. Father Lord, this morning, I refuse to fret and worry about any of my problems. Because they are in your hand. Instead, I choose to thank you for your awesome answers. Instead, Father Lord, I choose to thank you for your awesome answers. You are awesome God. I thank you for the answer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we go, for the time we have, I want us to do some spiritual warfare this morning. Open your Bible to Psalm 35. If it's only reading it, you can read it. But I will read it and pray it, some of them, this morning. That since God cares so much for me, since my years is numbered, since you know my name, Father Lord, this morning, plead my cause, O oh Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Lord, because I know you care for me, you already give me the assurance that you care for me. And Lord, I bring my children before you. I'm asking you for my family that, Lord, please plead our cause. Oh, Lord, with them that strive with us, fight against them that fight against us. Those that contend with us, Lord, contend with them this day. Oh, Lord, our God. Verse 2 is take hold of shield and buckler. And stand up for my help. That is defend me against the enemy. Lord, take hold of your shield because I know you care for me. You even when you care for the sparrow. That they, they cannot fall on the ground without your knowledge. So Father Lord, this morning I bring my family before you. Take hold of your shield and buckler. Defend us against the enemy. Defend us Lord. Defend us in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I don't know why this prayer is just leading to for protection, for protection. So let us pray it all utterly this morning. 
Every prayer we'll be praying this morning is about protection, protection. Father, Lord God Almighty, you are our protector, you are our defender. Lord, this morning we pray for any of our child, oh Lord, that is about to go into any danger. Lord, we bring them before you, Lord, protect them. Be your shield, O oh Lord. Take up your shield and buckler and defend them against the enemy. Against the enemy of their soul. Defend them, Lord. Defend our children. Defend every member of our household this morning, Lord. Defend them in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 3, it says, draw us out also this way. And stop the way against them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am their salvation. Lord, you'll be saying it this morning. You have said it, O oh Lord. That the hairs of my head are numbered. That the sparrow cannot fall down without your knowledge. That you know my name. So, Father, Lord, God of my salvation, arise with your spear. And stop all the attacks of the enemies against me. Father, Lord, God of my salvation, arise with your spear. Stop all the attacks of the enemy against me. Stop it. Lord, stop it from every direction. Stop it, Father God. You are the only one that has the power to stop it. So, Father, Lord, draw out your spear and stop the, them. All the attacks of the enemy. Either in my place of work, either from my father's house, from my mother's house, from our friendly friends, Lord, stop it this morning. I cry unto you, Lord. I cry unto you, Father, Lord, God of my salvation, arise with your spear and stop all the attacks of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4, it says, according to your word, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be torn back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, as it is written in your word, let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be torn back and brought to confusion. In the name of Jesus, that divides my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. So this morning, I decree that shame and confusion shall be the portion of those that devise my heart and seek after my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. On this prayer platform, in the name of Jesus, I decree that shame and confusion shall be the portion of those that devise our heart and seek our soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 5 says, Father God, since you care so much for me, Lord, this morning, I indulge myself. And I ask you, Father, let them be a shaft before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Lord, since you give your angels charge over us, Lord, let the angel of the Lord chase them when they come to attack us, oh God. When they come to attack any members of our family this morning, let the wind of God blow them away in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy that will come to attack us, Father Lord, let the wind of God blow them away. Let the angel of the Lord chase all of them away in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let them be like sharp before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord chase them away in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 6 says, let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them in the name of Jesus Christ. According to your word, Father Lord, any enemy that will rise up against us this day, Lord, we ask, let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 7 says, For without cause have they hid for me their net in peace. And without cause they have dig for my soul. So my father, arise and avenge me of every enemy digging pits and spreading nets for my destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. They, number one, they want to catch you in their net. They want to bring destruction, stainless to my life. They spread the way. Sometimes you say it, sometimes you don't. 
you only just imagine that something like a thread like something just on your body you can feel it this morning pray that my father arise oh lord avenge me of every enemy digging pits and spreading nets for my destruction Maybe perhaps you saw yourself in the dream to falling into the pit. This morning, pray that my Father, my Lord, avenge me of every enemy, digging pits and spreading nets for my destruction. Avenge me, Lord, because you are my Father and you care for me. My years are numbered. The sparrow will not fall without your knowledge. And I am much more valuable than the sparrow. So, Father, avenge me of every enemy, digging pits and spreading net for my destruction, for my children's destruction. Lord, this man, avenge in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God. We bless your name, Father God, this morning, this blessed morning. Thank you, Father, Lord, for sending your angels of favor upon our way. We worship you, we adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us stay and continue our intercessory this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This morning we're interceding for career. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us begin to just give thanks to God. Let us thank God, even for those that has a job, that has a business, or even those that are seeking at this time. Let us bless the name of the Lord, because we know it's a good God. He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask for. Let us thank him this morning. Father, we bless you, we adore you. Thank you for this opportunity to lift our career before you this morning. Oh, Lord, we thank you because we know that you will hear us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. We worship you. We adore you in the mighty name of Jesus. The psalmist in Psalm 34 said, The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus. As we lift careers, O Lord God, before the throne of grace, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will know no lack, in the name of Jesus, that our career shall blossom in the mighty name of Jesus. Even for as many that are looking, seeking to either to replace their, to change their jobs, or just looking for job in the mighty name of Jesus. But as they have come to seek the Lord, this Lord that we come to seek, that we wake up early every day in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, that no one will lack any good thing concerning our careers in the mighty name of Jesus said, even for as many of, uh, of, uh, of our friends, family members, brethren, sir, in the name of Jesus, that their career will suffer no good things in the mighty name of Jesus. Said. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. You know, the same psalmist, and so I say, for promotion come neither from east nor from west, nor from the south, but from the Lord. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus that even you know that the Lord Himself will bring about elevation, we bring about increase, oh Lord God, for careers in the name of Jesus at the places of work, at the places of business, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we, there shall be elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let us thank God this morning because He's a good God. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Who is like unto you, Lord, you are our God. You dwell on high. You raise up the poor out of the dust, and you lift the needy out of the donkey, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus, eh, that the favor of God eh, will speak in the name of Jesus, eh, that, you know, that even though in our career, that we will die, oh God, with princes in the name of Jesus, eh, oh, that.
the Lord will make a way, you know, for career of, of our brethren, of ourself, of everyone, who oh Lord God, to be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, because only you can advance it. So, Father, Lord, we thank you because oh, our advancement is coming upon careers this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us thank God because, you know, it's a very good God. Let us pray this morning that the Lord, O oh Lord God, will bring everyone into favor with those that will decide, O oh Lord God, or that will help to, to, to lift up our careers in the mighty name of Jesus, or that will help, O oh Lord God, in deciding whether to be employed or not to be employed in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for favor this morning in the name of Jesus. Eh? For as many that can advance career, for as many that, that, that can make career to blossom. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray favor this morning in the name of Jesus. Eh? On the, those ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Let us reject the spirit of the tail in the name of Jesus. Let us claim the spirit of the head eh? in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, Father, Lord, this morning we reject get the spirit of the tail upon our careers. Eh? We claim the spirit of the head in the name of Jesus eh? for careers, O oh Lord God, of our brethren in the name of Jesus, that they shall be lifted eh? in the name of Jesus, that they shall be the head and not the tail in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus, you know, for as many you know, that may be hind an hindrance uh, or hindrances, uh, you know, to, to anyone's career, to anyone's elevation, to anyone's promotion. In the name of Jesus, we pray that the Lord will change things around. Uh, in the name of Jesus, any human agent, uh, you know, that stands as a barrier, that stands, oh, your Lord God, as often, uh, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray this morning. If you have to remove that, remove that. If you have to change things around, change things around, oh, Lord God. Oh, because of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you this morning. We praise your holy name this morning because you said, ask and we shall receive. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking for spirit of, for anointing, anointing of excellence in the name of Jesus. Father, that you will Grant us, O Lord God, you will pour upon us, O Lord God, anointing to excel, you know, even above our contemporaries, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, that's anointing, that spirit of excellence eh, to overcome eh, everyone eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that they stand out eh, by your power, by your glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, let us pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, that will there be any power, will there be anything, oh Lord God, you know, that anyone, it does not matter who there is, where, you know, that I've that, that I programmed to hinder the progress of careers uh, of our brethren of anyone this morning. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we ask that those things expire. We ask that you pull those things out of our way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you praise this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that the Lord would dispatch his angels uh, to roll away all these entrances, uh, all these stumbling block, blocks in the mighty name of Jesus, in our careers, in our employment. Oh, Lord, my Father, dispatch your angels uh, to roll away every stumbling blocker, uh, every hindrance, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, pray this morning, in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, uh, we claim, oh, Lord God, the position uh, of upliftment. Uh, we claim the position of elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, for as many that are seeking employment. Oh, Father, this morning, we claim that position for them in the mighty name of Jesus. We claim it for them. does not matter how many people are, 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 are asking for that position. Lord, we claim it this morning, even for your children in the mighty name of Jesus. It's, by, it's not by power, nor by might, 
but by my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, so Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you because your favor will speak, oh Lord God, for all of your children this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you all the praise this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, we're asking for power, power to excel, power to overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, for your children this morning, oh, we pray, oh, Lord God, as we lift careers before you this morning, we are asking, Lord, for power to overcome, power to excel, even among other competitors, even among other, other people, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your power, let it overcome us, eh? power of excellence, eh? power, oh, Lord God, to, 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 to triumph in competitions, eh? power to triumph in interviews, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, let the power of excellence, eh? let it come upon us this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you praise this morning, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray even for as many that are competing. Is it for a promotion? Is it for elevation? Is it for employment? Oh, Father, Lord, this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the, for concerning, oh, Lord God, any of these issues, oh, Lord God, that in the name of Jesus, that the defeat of your children will be unattainable. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you, Lord, you will make this possible. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the power mighty in your name and in your blood. Eh? And so in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Lord, we pray this morning. In the name of Jesus, concerning careers, oh, Father, Lord, that careers will be lifted up right? in the mighty name of Jesus, that the work of the hands of your children, eh? oh, Lord, you will expand that eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Lord, my Father, you are the lifter of heads, oh, Lord God. Oh, Father, Lord, concerning our careers, Lord, we thank you this morning because we shall be lifted up right? in the mighty name of Jesus, we shall be lifted up right? In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, Lord, eh? you promise that you will pour upon the house of David eh? and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and of supplication. Ah, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? we pray this morning as we lift careers before you, Lord. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? pour upon us, oh, Lord God, the spirit of grace, oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus on careers, eh? Oh, spirit of grace, pour upon us, uh, upon our brethren, upon as many, oh Lord God, that are looking unto you, oh Lord God, for a shift, for a change in their career, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor and adoration. Oh, your word says the king's ass is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, it turns wherever it so wishes to. Oh, so Father, this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, said, every helper of destiny, every helper of, of career. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, said, we pray, oh, Lord God, that their heart, oh, Lord God, will be favorable to your children. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, because you, Lord, by yourself, oh, Lord God, you will turn their hearts, oh, Lord God, to favor your children eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you this morning. Father, we bless you. Lord, we give you all the praise this morning because there's none like you in the mighty name of Jesus. Word of God in Deuteronomy 28, 13 says, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. If that hearken unto commandments of the Lord, eh? Oh, which the Lord has commanded you this day to observe and to do them in the name of Jesus. Father, even as we are praying, as we are seeking, as we are asking, oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Lord God, we have not, we have asked. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Oh, we thank you for that grace, oh, Lord God, to be your will, oh, Lord God. Oh, Father, Lord, grant it unto us, oh, Lord God, that we will hearken unto your commandment, oh, Lord God, so that your blessing can be upon your children, eh, upon their careers, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, help us. Eh. Help us because we know by ourselves we cannot do this. Eh. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you praise because your children, oh Lord God, our brothers and our sisters, oh Lord God, 
they shall be shall all be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, eh? concerning our careers, oh Lord God, we shall be above only. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh Father Lord, we thank you. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name. Because you have made, you made provision of oh God for us, eh? your own children, oh Lord God, to be the best, to get the best things of life. Eh? Oh, so Father Lord, we thank you. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name this morning. We say, Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to your name. Because you, your desire for your children is to have enough for themselves and to be able to give others. Eh? So, Father Lord, if careers are not prospering, how do we do this? Oh, so Father, we thank you. As children of God, that's oh Lord God, we are blessed eh, to be blessings to other people through our career this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise, honor, and adoration. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine, because you have heard us. We worship you. We adore you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name.